This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 18 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. I just wanted to show you a little test render we have so far. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Got some detail here. And I'm going to work on these large pieces up here just to flesh it out a bit more so I can have some other stuff to work on, you should say. So, go into the front view. Create a box. Here. Okay. Only left view. Press F3 to get rid of that. Uh, convert it to an editable poly. Select the vertices and drag. Okay. Drag here. Actually, let me. Okay. Um. Select these edges, connect, OK, go to the vertex mode, select these vertices here, drag them down, select this polygon, deselect these, and extrude, and OK, looks good, and drag that forward, OK, perspective, like these, and I believe they curve inward, yes, yes, so hinge from edge, pick hinge, right here, 45, and 1, okay, actually it looks like we can do a little more than 45, so hinge from edge, um, pick hinge there first, make it 52.5 extrude ok um, in from edge, pick hinge right there and let's see 25 and extrude Okay, perspective, um, block it out like so, and then let me see here for a second, two, one, two, alright, that looks decent. That's that main piece, and let's just. That's kind of thick. So I'm going to thin it up a bit. Go in the front viewport here. So these vertices, bring them in. Set this, bring it up, and bring this one up as well. Perspective. That's looking better. Okay. Go in the left hand viewport here and press Alt X to make this see through. Left hand viewport. Create a box using auto grid. Like this. Okay. Go back into perspective and press Alt X to make that solid again. And you're going to want to have this go about halfway through. Okay, left hand viewport, Alt X, and copy it over. Okay. And drag it up. Perspective. Right, Alt X. Mm. Pro Boolean. Start picking. Pick those two things. Convert to editable poly. Select those edges as well as the inside ones there. Okay. make 
this one kind of big as well. And one should do it. All right. Um, let's see. Somehow it fits above this thing. But I don't know how that works. Um, hold on one second. Okay, I figured out these things attach directly to the gun, and they're not actually attached to this thing down here. So we're just going to leave that for now. Ooh. And let's actually fix this here. I'm missing some stuff, so cut from there, there, and there, and the same on this side. And right here as well. Alright, and just delete or delete that or backspace on that edge and backspace on the verts there. Just make sure you don't have any extra ones. Like this could be a problem. So let's just do a target weld. There 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 there. That side looks pretty good. Alright. Um, let's loop this, see what happens. Okay, not bad. Loop this. That's not good. Alright, loop. And looks like we're going to manually have to select the rest. So, start selecting all the edges. And then this will just be for a really large chamfer. This is going to take a while. Why not? Uh, that looks pretty good. So just chamfer. Zoom into these places right here. So you can see what's happening, make sure there's no mistakes. Alright, this one can be kind of large. And give it two segments. Alright, that way it's kind of smooth. Uh, next, we're going to want to. Left hand viewport, press Alt X, and looks like this edge and this edge. Alt X, we're trying to create these uh, ridge things. So connect with two. Okay, left hand viewport, Alt X, and just bring them over here. Okay, select these two edges here, connect, one, two, three, <coughs> segment sh should be good, I think, yes, looks pretty good, or not, um, yeah, three segments isn't good, so, it's one, two, three, four, Okay, perspective. Yeah, I probably did this wrong. Yeah, I did. We can't do it this way. So just delete everything you just did. Okay, uh, that'll be it for part 18. I'll see you in part 19.